Outlaw and Kyra Elzey. Talk about the, the workouts, how the kids are looking, how excited you guys are to get this stuff cranked up. Jolette, you go first. Um, I'm, I'm really excited right now, just getting back into it. They're working extremely hard. And uh, right now for me, it's just, you know, getting used to the terminology, but the level, the energy, uh, it's been great. I'm just glad to be here. Kyra, you're back home. How, how nice is it to be back in Orange and back home and on that floor? I keep pinching myself. It's still, it's phenomenal. Uh, just the excitement and the energy surrounding the program, uh, the kids' intensity in practice, it, it's been a great uh, start. To either one of you, in learning the terminology here, Holly talked about that. Is that, is that, how difficult is that? Is that, I mean, it sounds, sounds, sounds like football almost when she talks about that. I just know for me, I mean, it's just like, it's not my first rodeo, it's not my first show. Right. Um, it's just right now, just making sure that I'm on her page. Um, you know, it's probably the same thing that we're doing, but just trying to get it down, teaching it, you know, Holly Warlock's way. Um, you know, simple terms like slicing the floor. I may say dribble, you know, make sure you open up, get to the floor. Or it may say drag, or, you know, just open up reverse pivot. It's different things that I may use and that she use. I'm just trying to make sure we're all on the same page and I'm doing it her way. Kyra, there's always a lot of interest in the freshmen. How are they doing? Has anybody really stood out? How are, how are the four freshmen? And then, of course, Jasmine Phillips, who's a sophomore. How are they looking right now? You know, the freshmen are looking uh, great. We have Bashar Graves, of course, a Tennessee girl coming off of USA Basketball. She's looking phenomenal. Uh, Andrea Carter is one of the most intense, competitive girls we have. I think those two can really help us early. Um, but all of them are, are making progress. For, for both of you, what kind of a, when you think now at this point, what kind of an influence first tier you want to have on this program? What's the first impression you want to make with these kids in terms of how you're going to coach them? Good question. I, I, go ahead. Well, I think um, just setting the standard of excellence, um, just raising the bar so high, so high that they know that they can uh, reach the highest expectation and not just settle for being good, but try to make them great. And in turn, uh, that will help this program. You, are you 